What's up guys? How's it going? Bring you guys a game of Rush Defending on Operation Metro using the uh, recon kit this game. The L96 with the 12 time zoom and uh whatever the hell it's called, straight pull bolt whatever. I think I believe that's all I got. I'm gonna roll with the Mav and uh defending this uh, first base on Operation Metro. Which is uh, very familiar from uh, playing the beta so goddamn much. So, pretty much just do the standard strategy and uh, push up to their spawn and just spawn kill them. Because um, if they don't push up, then uh, they get spawn trapped. And that's their own damn fault, but <laughs> whatever. And uh, using the MP44-3 with a tactical light. Oh shit. <laughs> For my sidearm, I need to get a... Only a few kills away or something from uh, getting like a star with it and whatnot, and uh, ended up dying right there. But I get revived. I get revived a couple times this game. But he said he revived me like eight times, but nah, he only revives me three, <laughs> and two of them are like right here, <laughs> trying to get fancy doing no scopes, cause uh. I never no scope people in this game. I think I've only killed like two or three people in this game by no scoping them. Both of my headshots, and I remember it was like panic, just straight panic, and I got them. But uh, don't only no scope in this game. But it's fun <laughs> to try. Not really. I don't even try it. But uh, yeah, just pretty much standard for defending Operation Metro, and uh, do this with any kit right here. Just push up and in the front and, and take them out coming out of their spawn because you got a lot of cover and uh, they do too but they never seem to use it because they're in their spawn they probably think that they got a safe passage to get into the crates but they don't because we're here spawn trapping them because it's very effective <laughs> but uh, pretty much just punishing them for not pushing up in the beginning and uh, that is the key to rush is to push up you gotta rush and rush to be successful, <laughs> at least for attacking. And uh, using the 12 times scope on the L96, just because uh, I felt like it. I believe this is the first time I used the 12 times scope on it. And uh, I actually really like it, and I use it all the time now. I hit that guy with the quick scope and finish him off with the pistol, but I actually really like the scope. It just makes it a little bit easier to hit people. Um, with headshots from uh, a little bit greater distance, and um, I don't know, it just seems to work fairly easily, and uh, I, I do enjoy it even for, even though I'm not sniping people like way the fuck across the map like people usually use it. Um, I don't know, I, I prefer the more medium long range engagements with them. So, um, like that distance right there, like my max of what I even like to use these with, so. I like to be a little bit more up into the action when using these, and uh, I just do a lot better. I, I'm way more accurate, and I could be way more effective picking off people in the face. In the face, but I missed this guy a couple times. I get you, though. I get you. And, uh, yeah, L96 is probably my favorite bolt action. I don't know. It's a toss-up between this and the M98B, but uh, I do like the 10 rounds or whatever, 11 with the one in the chambers. So that's why I use this one, and I never get lucky with the M98B to get one shots that aren't headshots, like even that close range, any range. So I always got to two shot them anyway, so I just use this, and I got more uh, bullets to shoot at people with, and don't have to reload as much. But yeah, I really like this rifle just because it got really low bullet drop. Like it, it feels exactly like the MD M98B as far as like the sniping is just the the damage is a little bit different, and uh, you got more bullets, so that's why I kind of like it. And, ooh, get lucky, get headshotted. You got owned, <laughs> but um, I know people ask for like sniping tips and stuff, and it, I can't, I can't teach you guys how to aim. <laughs> it pretty much just comes with practice, and uh, you know I definitely recommend playing a little bit more closer range. It makes it a lot easier to hit people and. Uh, it's definitely not something that I recommend doing if you just like first game of the night or something like that. And I always do bad when I snipe the first game that I play of the day or whatever. So I usually like to get warmed up and before I pull out a uh, bolt action and then 
on top of that, when I'm in the game, it usually takes me a minute or two before I could even really start hitting people and whatnot. And, uh, I also like to use the squad cover perk with it because uh, getting suppressed does affect your shot, your accuracy. So uh, that definitely helps out. <laughs> Threw a spawn beacon finally because someone died in our squad so they could spawn on us. And uh, one thing that is good uh, with Rush is if... Uh, if you're with a good squad and you consistently spawn trap the team on the first base when you're defending and rush, it's it's a good idea to have one recon guy just to put a spawn beacon. Because uh, when you push so far up, you can't spawn on your squad mates, but you can spawn on the spawn beacon. So that's just something to keep in mind. And uh, it does help you maintain a presence because, um, you know, at any, at any time we could have got pushed back. You know, all it takes is all of us to die real quick and then... You know, they could push up and uh, make their way to the MCOM, but uh, fortunately they were not successful in doing so. But I had a lot, everybody has a lot of practice on this map from the beta. Cause I think I had like 20, or no, like 28 hours in the beta alone, something like that. So pretty much all this map. So this is probably the most played map <laughs> that I've played for sure. Ooh, gotta try to get that guy with my pistol, but he just had the cover advantage on me. All my bullets hit the rock right in front of him, but he ends up getting gotten, and then I end up getting revived to keep on keeping on fight on another day. And I love how revives do not count as deaths because now I get fake flawlesses. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know; it's just cool. They can turn uh, shitty games into good games, which is pretty cool. And uh, also now it's not as uh, it's not frustrating as much, you know, getting revived over and over and over again and dying over and over and over again because uh, it doesn't even count. It's like it never even happened. So you just end up giving someone kills on the other team, but who gives a fuck? Kills don't win the game, bruh, <laughs> unless you're playing team deathmatch. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know why they had a so flame out. That, that was pretty funny. I, I hit it, though, right there, but yeah. Other team had a so flame out, so they're not... Not the brightest on their part. I remember one time I was playing. I forget what map it was, but there was no vehicles on it. I think it was Grand Bazaar. And some guy was in their fucking deployment with a stinger, and I was fucking laughing my ass off. I thought it was pretty funny. And I actually get really lucky right there and survive with 1% health left. But I managed to get the cover. The game's almost over anyways. They actually, someone actually ended up pushing up going the uh, left side. Right side if you're attacking, and uh, by the water. And they actually end up arming the bomb, but someone defused it. <laughs> Tried to shoot the EOD bot, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Sniping is whatever in this game. I do hope that they don't buff them. Even though it is fun, and that is a kit that I like to use, especially when I was lagging, because it didn't really matter since your gun instantly killed people, so you could have a little bit of lag on, on you and still do fairly successful, but whatever. I, I do hope they don't. They don't make them better. They're fine the way they are. But uh, anyways, guys, when uh, 31 to no, and uh, ended up push holding them back at first base. But uh, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed and uh, peace. Have a good one.